Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Hidden Expedition Titanic. I'm MCF Poppin, this is part 6. And we're on dive 13. Ooh, still no globe to get collected. It's still raining really hard outside. So that's still a positive. The weatherman said it would the rain would stop at twelve o'clock today. And here it is twelve thirty and it's picked back up again pretty hard. I wonder if technology will ever improve to such a point where weathermen become accurate like 80 or more percent of the time. Like accurate to within like a few degrees of the temperature and a few minutes of the when rain or snow or whatever will pick up. And people always like write stories about utopian societies and that, but why don't they ever write a story where it's literally the same as our world, but everyone knows the weather 100% of the time correctly. Now that would be a utopia. I thought that little tiny thing up there was supposed to be a bowling pin. Oh yeah, it's a little sock monkey just peeking out of the torn metal floor. I wonder what this office was even used for. Like, who was here? Is it supposed to be like the captain's office or something? And why is there a random ladder? Is the only way to get into the office through a ladder climbing? Up or down? I don't know. Well, now at least there's a door, and you can just go through the door and climb through the window that's formed from a fallen wall. Alright, I'm calling time. But two whole minutes of lost time really ain't that much. That's only 12 misclicks. Ooh, the micrometer is here again. And I 
could actually identify it this time. And of course it's very fitting that the bandstand location has a bunch of musical items for you to find. The pan flute, the piano, the bagpipes, some drums, and like a cello or bass in the background. That's a very small necktie. Maybe it's just the scaling of the image. And now finally we actually get to see the bridge. And like the oxygen tank would be hidden, but you can see it even in the little image of the location. Right there. It's just a cute little thing. And it's in the center of the frame, too, so you're likely to find it. I really like the bridge scene. It's very, like, mechanical, with even a whole wrecked car outside. I don't know how a car got to be in the middle of the Atlantic. Maybe they were hauling them on like a freighter from like Europe to the US or the US to Europe and someone forgot to like tie the car down so it just fell off into the ocean and the people on the boat were like oops and just drove or boated right along. What is the proper terminology for navigating in, uh, like, industrial, like, ship or shipping vessel? Because, like, you say drove a car or flew a plane. You say sailed a boat if, like, it's got sails. Do you still say sail? Even if it doesn't have sails and it's, like, all mechanical motor? I'm not sure. There's a sextant. I I don't even know if anyone today who's like a captain of a ship knows how to use a sextant. Because what would be the use in knowing it when like you have GPS which works perfectly fine. I suppose if, like, the ship's power gave out, 
you could use one to figure out where you were. But I don't know that anyone would be trained to know how to read a sextant. Eva Keneva's lost violin. Eva Keneva was the world's greatest freelance stunt violinist. She performed the feats other stunt violinists only had nightmares about. Eva was best known for being shot feet first from a cannon into a barrel of water, where she would hold her breath for an entire nine minute solo so hot that the stunt was dubbed the Jacuzzi Technique. I really doubt you could even play a violin underwater. Like, could you even get friction from the bow to the string to produce sound? Like, vibrations, would they work underwater? And even if you can't actually play the violin, could anyone actually be able to hear it? Underwater or above water? I don't think so. I'm looking too much into this when it's just a joke like someone's a violinist and a stunt woman at the same time. That's the joke. But I gotta analyze it too much. And speaking of vibrations, now it started thundering outside. Yeah, rain was definitely supposed to end just 38 minutes ago, that's for sure. Anyway, now we're at the, the very final level. There isn't any new locations to visit in this level. But we get the Grand Staircase and the Bridge again, which are probably the two best locations in this game, in my opinion. I much prefer the late game locations you visit to the earlier game ones, like the dining room and the dressing room and the bar. It's just aren't as captivating to me as like the grand staircase, the office, the bandstand, the bridge. I don't know why there's a pilgrim hat on the bridge of the Titanic, but there is. It has, like, 
items hidden on the spokes of the wheel, which reminds me of, like, Prime Suspects, Abe's Red Hots having stuff hidden around that wheel's spokes. Yeah, this game actually predates Prime Suspects. It's just really interesting to see the evolution of, like, Big Fish Studios, like, game design. I'm not sure if there were many people who worked on both Mystery Case Files and Hidden Expedition, or if, like, they had their own separate dev teams that didn't really work together much. Like they had the A team on Mystery Case Files, the B team on Hidden Expedition, the C team on the Drawn Games. Not sure. Oh yeah, the spear's just that little thing hidden. You expect it to be a giant spear, like harpoon, inside the cabin, but no, it's outside and very small. Man, I'm still missing a gem here. Hey, I found it. So I believe I've only missed two gems in the whole game. Which ain't bad. Two out of, like, 150 or 200 or however many there are. Anyway, now for the final thing of the game, you don't get another image puzzle, it's just a bunch of number, it's just a safe thing, and oh, you need to find whatever the number is highlighted. Like, 
like for example here it's five so like a five dollar bill two so two pointing fingers nine so like the tic-tac-toe board six so six think pegs on the guitar head four so the quartet another four so the four smokestacks on the titanic ten so the ten bowling pins six so like the chinese checker board which has six sides four again so like the square and this whole thing is randomized every game which is adds a bit more uniqueness but it's still the same numbers it's the same items just different numbers oh and I guess you do get a total gem count at the end the total artifact count doesn't matter because it's always the same exact number. Like, you can't miss any items or collect any extra items. Oh, and by the way, the background for here and the um, safe puzzle is the storage room. I guess they just didn't want to design a whole custom background. I don't know why there's a, like, image or something to click on sound effect there and finally our expedition comes to the end what a riveting ending and that's the end of hidden expedition titanic pretty fun ending's kind of lame but i thought it was amazing getting the all the numbers and then finally cracking open the safe and seeing a pretty crown but anyway that'll do it for this series so like and subscribe if you want i'll see you next time with whatever series i'm doing who knows when this will actually end up getting posted Bye.